Greeting, greeting. This is Mark Brown. You're going to be looking at mastering basic web page. So you go wonder what is this basic web page and all of that. When you open an email, you literally open a web page, right? You might not understand what a web page. I'm going to give you a brief rundown of what is a web page and how you can actually create a web page, right? You notice know right there? What is a web page, right? Which is HTML, right? So let me get a little deeper in here. So a web page is a simple document displayed by the browser, which is the internet browser like Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox and Microsoft Edge, right? Such documents are written in the HTML language. A web page can embed a various of different types of sources, such as style, so it can actually add style to it, information. So HTML stands for hypertext markup language. So you might see the abbreviation and wonder what it really means. It means a hypertext markup language, right? And it's a, it's a code that is used to instruct a web page and its content, right? For example, content could be structured within a set of paragraphs. Yes, you can actually do it into a set of paragraphs, right? So when we see the demonstration part, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can actually do that here. A list of bullet point. Yes, you can actually use bullet in web page. Just the same, you can use in Microsoft Word by using image and data table. Right, it's very important that yeah, they can actually do all of that in here. Right, so this is what we're going to be actually doing. We're going to open auto start web page, or add the editing there, and auto type in the editing, and auto save it, and auto display. So these are what we're going to actually be looking at. But first of all, all we can get this web page. The first thing that we wanted to do in order to start the web page, we're going to open our document, which is Notepad. So we're going to come right in the search bar right here. You're going to click. Notice when you click, this is a Notepad. So important, you can come right here. You can also expand the notepad just like that. So now you have the notepad just like that, expanding now. So the next thing that I wanted to look at, right? Right, it actually started right here. Right, so we're going to ask how to add the editing tag. So all we're going to put in the editing tag, it's simple. Right, so what I want to do, simple come like this, you're going to say, each, E M L. So before I do that, let me put the yes or done sign first, and then you're gonna say H E M L, and then you're gonna close it. Right, very important with the greater than sign. Right, so that's exactly what you wanted to do. Right, so you wanna press enter. You're gonna put the greater than sign again. Then you're gonna put a slash, because why, why you put it in the slash, you're going to actually close it. And it's H, E, M, L, and you're going to put like the other sign, just the same. So very important right there, when you put the greater than sign, just like that right there. So what you wanted to do now, you're going to come up, you're going to press enter, so put a space right in between. All right, let me correct this. Right here, let me okay. right, Good. So we're going to put a space inside here. Now you're going to use yes, a done sign again. You're going to put in head. And you're going to close it. Just the same. Then you're going to press enter again. All right. So you're going to put in the closing one. All right. You want to put back that and make sure the slash. Then you're going to close it. But within the editing, you're going to press enter. You're going to put typo in between. Right? You're going to put in a typo. Just like that. You're going to close it. You know this? You don't jump down to the next line as yet. All right, you're going to come like that. You're going to put the slash. You're going to press in the typo again. Then you're going to close it just like that. All right? You're going to press. Press and go down. All right, we see the head right here. You notice this is the open head. This is the closing head. This is the open head. All right, you notice this is the open type and this is the closing type. So I'm going to press here and I'm going to carry it down as far as possible. All right, so what I wanted to put right here, and I want to put the body. 
So you're gonna put the body right here. You're gonna close the body. And after I close the body now, then what you want it to do, right? You're gonna put the slash just like that. Good. If you notice, for the body, you're gonna come like that and check down like that. So you want to put a space in between like that. So the title will go right in between right here and right here. Everything that you type must type inside this body here. All right, so let me bring up this some more like that. So now this area of this basic structure right here so far. So we're going to be looking at the next instruction now and see what is it. So now we're actually having the editing tag, all right? It's how to type in the editing, right? So we're going to type exactly inside of it now. So it's very important. We're going to type in it. Right here, I'm going to type my web page. I'm going to type like that now. I'm going to come right here in the body. Right, I'm going to type, well, let me try this up some more. I'm going to type something right here. So we're going to put a bracket here. So I'm going to put T, so T stands for paragraph. All right, so we're going to put a closing one, that's the same. The flash right here, we're going to put it. So we're going to write in between it now. All right, so we're going to set my name is Mark. I live in the city. Uh, just like that. So now it actually coming on quite nice. So piece for paragraph, right? Very important. So we're gonna see what is the next thing that we can actually do in it. Very important here. So the next thing we want is to the seal the web page. So we're gonna actually seal the particular web page. Right? So the first thing we want to do is to notice right up here we have file edit format. So we're gonna click on word file. When you click on file, you're going to come down, notice it's a new window open, save and save as, please set up, print and exit. So you want to click on save as. When you click on save as, what it will do is bring up this dialog box right here. Now this thing right here, you will set right here. So you're going to say web page, web page, e, e. Then you're going to say dot h t m l. Right, so I want to see the handy desktop. I'm going to come right here, just like that. I want to come right here, say save as type. I'm going to click right there, and then I say our file right there. When I click it, then I click on the right save. Right, so basically, we have to receive it. So the next thing that I wanted to do is how to display the web page. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be displaying web page to see exactly what we type in, how it look like, and all of that. Very important. So we're going to do that now. All right, so in order for me to do that, I'm actually going to move this here, just, just in case, right? Minimize this. We're going to look right on the desktop. All right, if you notice, this is it. So we're going to move it right here. We're going to right click on it. All right, and then you're going to say open with, and then we're going to open it with Google Chrome. So I'm going to click and open it with Google Chrome. And then you see exactly how the web page is like. So this is a basic step-by-step -step in which you can actually follow, especially if you're in school or in where they just get a look at that like this. It's very important. All right, so I'm going to come right here. I will make it. If you notice, this is a web page. You notice it's where the paragraph right is up here. So in the title, i show you my name is XYZ. All right, so if I go back again, I can actually make some adjustments here. Right, so if you notice right here, I can actually come like that, and then I can put right here H1, H1 stand for editing. Right, so I'm going to actually do the closing just like that. Remember to put a slash just the same like that. So in the editing, I'm going to write computer software. Right there, and then I'm going to come right there. I'm going to click, and then I'm going to click here at save, just like that. I want to click here at save. Now, what I wanted to do is bring up the web page like that. 
So I'm going to notice you're going to see nothing changed. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to refresh it. You notice? All right, good. So this is exactly, basically what we can actually do in our page. All right, so it's very important here and what we can actually do. So we can do many more stuff here in our page. So I hope you have learned something from this particular video. All right, thanks for your time. See you in the next video.